All right, so the Jefferson curl is all about segmental flexion of the spine and then segmental extension. So you're using each joint, each weight along the spine individually. So the first level of it is just to initiate that rounding flexion. Then we're gonna go into thoracic flexion. Then we'll go into lumbar flexion, which we'll usually end up with people's fingers at about mid-shin. And then we'll start to work towards the ground. And then eventually we'll go below the ground. Now, a couple of really key things for most people here, if they have any sort of back issues in general, uh, we're gonna wanna go really slowly with this one. So typically where this might kind of tweak somebody's back where you have to be careful is once we get to that lumbar flexion. So even though it's very easy, a lot of people with any history with back or apprehension, we're just gonna go to there and that's it. And then we'll progress after that. So let me show you the full thing with the standard. I guess I don't really have big enough weights. Let's pretend that these are 25% of my body weight. It would look like this. Shoulders and neck round forward, slowly descending, vertebrae by vertebrae. Knees need to stay absolutely straight. And with the help of those weights, you'll end up all the way below your feet. And that's, as far as the mobility component of this, that's the standard, is below 25% of the body weight for 10 reps.